If you've ever upgraded SOLIDWORKS to a new major release, such as going from 2019 to 2020, you've probably encountered one of the various errors involving a path not being correct. Here's a few examples. Bet you've seen something like this before. Try to start a new SOLIDWORKS document and there's an error regarding your templates. Perhaps you've tried to add a new sheet to an existing drawing and there's a message telling you the format couldn't be found. How about this one? You're trying to add a whole callout and it can't find the whole callout format file. How about the dreaded mod diam text instead of the diameter symbol? If you've just upgraded SOLIDWORKS and you're excited to see new features and functionality, but instead you're getting hit with all these issues, you could be thinking, Why is this happening to me? Don't fret, because it's a simple fix. Make your way over to your options in SOLIDWORKS. Click the File Locations category, and rather than trying to fix every path individually, let's click the Edit All button. Notice how most of my paths are still pointing to the 2019 locations. This happened because 2020 was installed while 2019 still existed on the computer. SOLIDWORKS thinks you might have custom files located in these folders, such as templates, sheet formats, and you know what? You probably do. You may very well decide to move those custom files to the appropriate 2020 locations. Maybe 2019 gets uninstalled because you no longer need it. That's when the problems arise. SOLIDWORKS is still looking in these old directories, but they no longer exist. Here's what you do. Click the Find Replace button you see right there. Search for 2019 and replace it with 2020. Click Replace All and Close. You've just repaired every path, and that's a lot easier than going through and manually changing every one of those paths individually. By the way, I don't care about adding these new paths to my search path, so I'll just click No here. Let's put this to the test. If I try to create a new SOLIDWORKS document, the templates pop right up. If I edit the properties of my drawing sheet, I can now pick a format and set the path to that format on the first sheet. I can then add a new sheet and my drawing defaults to that same format. If we add a whole call out, we get expected behavior and no error messages. I do hope you found this tech tip helpful. My name is Dave Murray. Thank you and happy modeling from all of us at CAD Dimensions.